Uh, my name is Craig Marshall. I've got a, well, my undergraduate degree. I studied at University of Strathclyde. I have a master's degree in applied chemistry and chemical engineering. And straight from university, I've been working with a company called NEL based in Glasgow. And my role with them has been a flow measurement consultant, primarily working on single phase flow measurement technologies and just commercial consultancy work for oil and gas operators. Uh, my project's based on high viscosity flows. Uh, there's a, quite a demand in the future going to be for um, meters that can measure high viscosity flows and currently technology uh, is a bit lacking and it gives you quite a significant measurement error. So my idea is essentially to take a very commonly used technology, differential pressure meters, and then uh, do some additional measurements with that and to create a device that has an improved performance in high viscosity flows. Uh, it's, further learning is something I've always wanted to, to do ever since I've, I left university. Uh, I, I didn't go into a, a PhD right, right away as I was looking to, to get out into the industry to get some experience, but when this opportunity came up, I, I had my idea in place, I had uh, the opportunity to do it, so it was something I was really looking forward to doing. Yeah, it was just a, it was quite a straightforward process. There was a limited number of spaces, so we had to highlight what our uh, potential topics were and sit us through a short interview and the company then decided which ones they would like to take forward. And I assume that was based on the, the relevance to the industry and what benefit the company could get from the, the projects as well. I think my particular project, there's a, there's a, a couple of reasons for that. I think personally, uh, I've shown over the past seven years with the company that uh, I'm quite a hard worker with some good ideas and uh, I deliver on, on time for my projects. But secondly, for the, the project idea itself, it's something that we can potentially develop and, and move forward with to become a commercial product for, to, to sell to industry. Uh, it's been really good support from my company. We've, we're given a nominal one day per week, so that's 20% of our of our time to focus on, on developing this project. Uh, in terms of facilities and, and other equipment that they use, the, we've, we've got world-class uh, testing and calibration facilities. It's actually the, the national standard in the UK for flow measurement, and we've got access to these facilities uh, when we can to, to test the equipment or any research that we want to do. So it gives us quite a, a good bit of flexibility in terms of which research we want to follow and how we develop uh, the result or develop from the results that we gain from the testing. In terms of equipment as well, we've got some uh, pieces of technology that we, we use in the facility, which is owned by NEL, be it meters or secondary instrumentation that we have access to. And we've got good confidence in those facilities from our commercial aspects that the, these, all the equipment is traceable uh, and has been, the work's been delivered to a high accuracy. It's, it varies from, from week to week. Uh, normally, it's a, a one day per week uh, scenario where you're, you're working on this, this project, but it depends on other commercial activities. Some weeks you might not work on it at all, and other weeks you, you will be looking to, to put some more effort in. And in particular, when we look at some of our modules that we, we've done, uh, that might require you to work on a, a few days. That might take one day on your working week, then over the weekend. Uh, on average, though, a typical week for me is you have your 37 hours uh, of, of work, of seven of which are for your NGD, and it may, maybe one or two nights per week where you're staying in a little later, maybe just one or two hours, but it's, it's worth the effort to put in, and then maybe, maybe I don't know, one, one day or two days per weekend, something like that. Kind of, that's enough, to, I think, to, to keep everything going, bearing in mind that it's as a, we're doing this part-time as, as well as almost a full-time job. Well, now we've got a focus on this particular uh, project. It's allowed me to speak with uh, other op operators and manufacturers of similar technology, just to discuss the idea that I've got and how best we can then implement that in industry. So it's one, it's good for, for my own career, for networking with other well, real world uh, companies uh, and other engineers, but also it gives us good feedback because I've, I might have a certain idea based on my own working 
uh, practices, but as soon as you start discussing that with other individuals, that's where you start to get, generate different ideas and look at alternative routes you could possibly take the project. It's all very interesting and beneficial. I think it's been very good so far. Well, there's, again, two aspects of that. You've got the whole Coventry Uni infrastructure that's in place with the, the administration, a support and uh, the the online support and everything that comes alongside that, the work of the library and uh, other departments within the company. And I think they, they, they all seem to work quite well together. Uh, we've got a sole contact within Coventry that we, if we've got any questions, we can, we can ask him. And if there's any uh, help that's required from there, he's best able to point us in the direction of where we need that support. In terms of the, the lectures and the, the modules and uh, directors of studies and things like that, everyone's... Uh, Everyone's very nice people, they're always happy to help. In particular with the directors of studies, the guys are, they've been working in industry for, for decades, so they're very experienced people. So it's, it's good to have that sort of background uh, to, be, to rely on. I definitely would. I think it's been a, a great course for us so far, even just in our, our first year. Just learning new skills and, and techniques, particularly on report writing, which will help my, my career and uh, my, my work no end. Uh, and just being able to continually develop your, your own skills and qualities is, is quite an asset, I think.